In order to make use of the connectivity provided with the SIM on your SARA R500E module, you'll need an account on the uBlock ThingStream portal. Go to portal.thingstream.io and either log in if you have an existing account or select register now, fill in the details and create a new account. Creation of an account is a two-step process. You'll receive an email in order to verify the email address that you provided Click on the link in that email and then follow the steps on the screen to complete your account registration. Once you log in, you'll see the, uh, the dashboard in the ThingStream portal. In order to add your SARA R500E module to your account, uh, you just need to go to uh, Communication Things. You can do that by either clicking on Things here on the dashboard or from the menu at the side, going to Communication Services and Communication Things. Once there, click on Add Thing, go to User Code, and here you can either redeem an individual thing or redeem multiple things by importing a CSV file of redemption codes. The CSV file of codes to go with your modules should have been provided to you along with the modules themselves. If you don't have it, just contact support at thingstream.io with details of the reel that you've purchased and one of the team will be able to get the codes for you. Before you can uh, activate your module, you'll need to set up payment details in the portal. To do this, go to settings and billing, and then upgrade your account to the pro account. From here, you just enter your billing details, um, the name of your company, uh, your credit card, etc. Uh, and then you'll be able to go ahead and activate the subscriptions uh, for your modules. So coming back to adding the thing, add thing, user code. Here I'm going to use just an individual code, but the process for all of this is the same, whether it's one or many that you're adding. I'll enter the code that I got from my CSV file, hit next, and then you'll see confirmation of the type of thing that you're adding. If you're adding lots of them, you'll see a count of how many you're adding as well. And you can check that that's correct based on the, uh, the file that you've got. Just hit add thing. That will then create uh, a representation of your module in the portal. And now you can select the plan that you want. There are a range of different plans for the R500e. The first three here in the list are standard data plans. Um, and it's also compatible with our MQTT Anywhere service. So you see here, a selection of MQTT plans that you can pick. Pick the plan that you need, hit activate, and as long as you've entered all your credit card details uh, previously, um, that device will now be activated. And from here, you can just click on view details to go and have a look at it. In the details page, you see details of the type of device that it is, the current status activated, the plan that it's on, and then some information about the SIM that's in the module. So it's IMSI, uh, it's MSISDN, the ICC ID number for that SIM, and then the IMEI of the module itself. You can change the status of your device at any time. You can just deactivate it in here. You then have an option to either deactivate immediately or deactivate on the next uh, renewal of your subscription. You can also change the plan at any time. Again, you can choose to either do that immediately or to schedule that change of plan uh, for the next renewal date. And by picking either of these options, you're then presented with that plan picker again. The current plan that you're on is highlighted and you can just pick one of the other plans um, that you want to use. When you do deactivate the SIM, uh, that physically deactivates it on the network. Uh, so it will no longer be able to, uh, to register and attach to the network. Um, the change is immediate and of course if you want to reactivate it again, you just come in and hit activate, pick the plan that you want to use um, and continue from there. There are some other tabs here in the Thing Details page. Um, details of these are covered in documentation uh, which you can find from the link down here on the sidebar. But we'll take a quick look at the Activity tab too. This tab will show you information about the usage on your plan. Um, so as you start to use data, um, you'll see a count of the data that you've used build up on a bar that will be displayed here. 
This data is updated once a day. Um, so each day uh, when the, uh, the data session is closed and we receive information back from the mobile operator, that's populated and updated into your account in here. You can also see how long there is left to run on your plan before it renews. And once you've had the plan running for a while, you can go in and see historic usage for what you've done in previous months. The plan that you have will renew after 30 days. Renewal is automatic uh, unless you want to uh, schedule a cancellation. So deactivate, deactivate on the next scheduled renewal date. And then you'll see um, that the plan is scheduled for deactivation starting from the 20th of February. If you have any difficulty getting started with your module, the team are always here to help. So just drop an email to support at thingstream.io and one of the team will get back to you. Thanks.